how to use Photopea in 2021. Photopea is a website-based software that will help you create awesome pictures and edit your pictures and create awesome thumbnails for your websites and YouTube channels. So let's start. Guys, this is what Photopea is. It is just a website. You don't have to download any app in order to use Photopea. Just go to photopea.com and this is what you will get. So today, guys, I will show you around everything, all the tools about Photopea and I will be creating a YouTube thumbnail. So you would get an idea of every tool what is available in Photopea. So first of all, what you have to do is you can see there is a file option above. Once I click here, you will see that you can actually export the files that you have already done on Photopea. You can just go to PSD templates and your previous files will come if you want to edit them again. But we're going to start from this scratch. So I am going to create a new file. So first things first, we're going to name our project. Let's name it thumbnail. So it's a YouTube thumbnail that I'm going to create. So I want my width to be 12. 80 and 720 now this is what it is then go we are creating everything from the scratch so the background should be transparent and here you can see that Photopea actually is giving you different templates in order to create if you want a cool template you can just use any of the presets right here then there is an option for you as if you want to create a fb page cover or insta story then you can go ahead and select from any of these layouts for now we are good to go i'm gonna select create so guys this is what we're going to start with now my background is transparent if you want to start from the scratch this is what it will look like so first things first let me show you the user interface now what's happening here is guys there are a lots of tools available right here as you can see there is a move tool that will help you move around all the images that we're going to add or any of the content that we're going to add into this picture then there is a magic wand that we're going to actually use further it will help us uh, get rid of the background then there is a crop option then there is a stop healing brush simple brush tool erase zoom text and many other options are given here then if we go to the above you will see there is a file option that i just showed you if you select here you can open new file you can add images from open and place then there is open more where you will open pictures from url you can take a picture and then you can publish online you can save as psd export all of the options are given here if we go to edit you will get undo redo stuff forward cut copy paste fill stroke and many other options for example transform your image and others then there is a image option that will help you adjust auto dune auto contrast auto color reduce colors canvas size image size and transform then there is a layer option which is new duplicate duplicate intro delete layer style fill layer new adjustments and many other then there is select of course and then there is filter that will help you get different filters for example if you want to blur or distort or reduce the noise reduction or anything else after that there is a view option that helps you to zoom in zoom out or other options are also given for example snap snap to log guides clear guides and add guides then there is a window option that actually is giving you the most of the same options that are given here for example if you cannot get anything from here or if you're looking for something you can just go ahead and get your tools from here brush channels colors and paragraphs parts and everything so yeah guys after that let's start i gave you a quick tour around what tools are here now let's use them now what happened is like you can see there is this small arrow right here if you select on this arrow or hold you will be able to see the sub options for that too. For example, there was this rectangle select, then you will be able to see other options as well. Then if there is a brush option, so you can just go ahead and see the sub options for brush, brush tool and pencil tool. So if you are looking for sub options, all you have to do is just click right here and you will be able to get into that option more. 
Okay guys, so let's create our thumbnail. So firstly, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my background right here. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my background. Now you can import any image right here. What you're gonna do is go to file and there's an option of open and place. So whenever we're gonna add any image, we're gonna go to this option. So when you go there, you can just simply go to your pictures and select your background which you have already saved i'm going with this and once i do that it's right here now there is this move option select this and you will be able to move your image you can just increase the size to your background for example if this image was not my background then i can just simply keep it where i want to so i'm just gonna go ahead and make it to the size of the background perfect and then go ahead and click on confirm once you do that you will see that this is what my background looks like okay guys okay i did not show you around this side now let me give you a tour to this side also real quick before we jump into further so what happens here is that you can see two columns you can just open them up here you will see history swatches and layers option. Now in Photopea layers is very important because it works according to layers. We are working on different layers at a time and it's a layer based software. So we have a lot to do with the layers. So you can actually add lots of layers and we will work on that layer and it will help us get a very good product at the end so right now i have selected this layer of which is like pink color right here and then once we click on right we get the layers option where we can actually duplicate the layer or delete it or resize it or change anything we want to so we will be working here a lot after that there is you can see history option where you see all of your history what you are doing right here you will know what last step you did and then there is paragraphs and character settings so now i have this okay let's just say i want to blur this background a little so i will go to filter and you see that there are a lot of filters then i am going to blur it's blur let's give it a gaussian blur right in here okay so i'm gonna blur it a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and select okay Okay, you cannot actually see it. If it were an other picture, then you might have noticed the difference that I blurred it. After that, you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do with this background. For example, I want to just go ahead and do some blending options with it. So all you have to do is go to that layer and right click. So yeah, there are a lots of options that you can do. Right now, I am just gonna go with okay because I am okay with my background. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually import any image from the web. So you just go to Google and select whatever you're working on. I'm gonna be creating a thumbnail which will say uh, best laptop reviews in 2021 or something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this image and control plus V. Once you do that, your image will be copied right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and move it where I want to according to the size. I think that's, that's a good size right here. Okay, just like, okay. So now we're going to remove the background of this image. What we're going to do is so easy. What we're going to do is just select this layer and convert to smart object and then select again and rasterize it this will help you do some of the uh, things that were not allowed before for example removing the background so you're gonna go to this tool right here which is called magic wand select it and go ahead and click on the background once you do that you will see it's selected and delete once you do that, you see that the background has been removed. Now you can just simply go ahead and deselect it. Voila, your background has been removed. It's so easy. You can just remove any background of any image you want to. Now we have got this. Now I want to edit it a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click. Let's go to blending options and give our laptop a little shadow. 
Once I click on this, let me just take it right here. You will see that now there is a background that you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it this way. Now I have added a background right here to my laptop just so that it looks like it's popping out. Okay. Now I have given this a background. After that, let's add text or let me show you around different options as well for example if you had to erase something so i want to erase something on this layer my layer one is selected which is the laptop layer so i'm gonna go to erase and it's selected and all i have to do is just do this and you will see that it's being erased for now we're just gonna go ahead and undo that okay so this is how you can use the erase tool after that let's go to text i want to add text into my thumbnail what we're gonna do right here is that once you select on text you will see that all the options about the text is coming up now i'm gonna create a new layer right here you can create a new layer from this option i'm gonna click right here and a new layer is being selected and i want it to be yeah above all okay so once you do that this is the layer for our text go ahead and select text and you will be able to write okay now we're ready to write i'm gonna go ahead and you can just go ahead and select any of the font that you want to okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select any font i'm going with distant galaxy once i do that and the size i would go with i'm gonna increase the size and then the color i want it to be white or yellow maybe okay let's go with white for now i'm gonna go with white okay and then you can just simply add text okay now this is the text that i have added after that once your text is done go ahead and okay now i'm gonna move my text where i want it to be and if i want to increase the size a bit then i think this looks good or maybe right here now you can see that this is the text that I got. It looks good, but now we're going to just do some modification to make it look better. After that, I want to shadow this text. So now what I can do is I can just follow all the steps to add a shadow. But there is another option which I can do. What we did with this laptop was what we did with this layer was we added a, a shadow. So I'm just going to go ahead and select and layer style and copy so this makes it easy for you to just paste any of the settings that you have done with another layer so i'm going to apply that to this layer layer size and paste now you can see the similar settings have been applied to my text as well okay so now this is okay let's change if you want to select the text all you have to do is just double click and select the text i want to change the color of 2020 so let's go with yellow so that it pops out of it okay yeah i think yellow looks good now okay so after that i want to let me show you around the brush tool what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna select the brush tool and go right here you will see all the settings for the brush right here if we go to swatches the color will be pink for the brush i want it to be pink yeah and go to brush okay you can see this is the color and i want it to be this one and the size will be this okay ready so i'm just gonna go ahead okay now my brush layer should be because you will see that if i do this right now so you will see that it's coming up so i'm just gonna delete that and create a new layer for the brush create a new layer which is layer number three and put it between your text and laptop right here now what will happen is this will be in the background go ahead for brush and so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add this brush right here you will see i selected this type of brush so i get this like cool effect right here now it's like making it pop out what i'm gonna do is the color is actually a bit more like so i'm gonna go ahead and go to blending options and 
reduce the capacity so you saw that the color pink was little like popping out so i wanted to reduce it so all you have to do is go to the layer and go to blending options and i am decreasing the capacity so it does not like looks like this so i'm just gonna like this i think that's looking good okay so once you do that you will see that this is what our thumbnail looks like for now what other options okay for example if you want to zoom in or out this plus option you just go ahead and zoom in if you want to see any details if you want to zoom out you can just simply go ahead and zoom out and once you're done with all of your editing you have created your thumbnail or any of the editing then you can just simply go ahead to files and save as psd now save as psd means that you can edit it later it will be saved into your psd files and whenever you will open it again you will be able to edit it but if you want to export it you can just simply export if you're done with editing you can just go ahead and export in any of these forms you want to i'm gonna go ahead with this one simply click and we're not gonna change anything right here because it is 1280 720 and quality should be 100 percent and save once you do that your image will be saved you just saw how i created a thumbnail in photo p you can simply use this app to edit any of your pictures or thumbnails it's literally one of the best website to edit and you can avail it in 2021 i hope i was a big help i will see you in